All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the GSMC Wrestling Lorry Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Uh, just to kind of reflect on what we talk about. We had our segment one about WWE NXT review. We had our segment two about AEW preview, what's going to happen with the whole CM Punk thing. And we had our segment three talking about is uh, AEW fading and kind of like their comparisons to uh, WCW. So um, our fourth segment, we're going to talk about pass or draft. It's kind of a segment that I created. We're going to go through, uh, you know, just in case some crazy stuff happens and, um, you know, Tony Khan loses these wrestlers. I just want to see where they fit, where they would fit with WWE. Uh, first, we have, uh, you know, Julia Hart. Like, um, honestly, I would probably say draft. She would be probably really good in WWE NXT. I can see her kind of killing it there. And, um, you know, all in all in that. Uh, next, we have Okada. Okada, recently, he's the Continental Champion for AW, defeated Eddie Kingston. Honestly, I would draft. I would draft him into SmackDown, kind of bring in something like that. Maybe have him feud with somebody like Randy Orton, or maybe even challenge Logan Paul for the United States Championship. That'd be pretty, you know, honestly, that'd be pretty dope to watch. You know, this guy's a talented, you know, superstar. He's a talented, you know, he's been in and out of the organization for the longest time. So, you know, he has something good. And next we have the Hangman Adam Page. Although I thought, I think he'd be really good. Um, I think he should probably stay with like a smaller company. Like, I'm not saying that WWE wouldn't need him. I'm just saying like, there's so many, like, you know, cause he'd be like a heavyweight title contender. And right now you kind of have everybody like scratching toward the title and you kind of have Paul Levesque kind of having the idea of who's going to challenge for the world heavyweight championship and the WWE championship at, at Berlin backlash and also a clash at the castle. Kenny Omega. Oh man. I love Kenny Omega. Absolutely draft this guy. Draft this guy, he automatically becomes a complete like arsenal in your book of, of rosters that could bring a crowd of easily 100,000 people. This guy is money. This guy is absolutely, he's a switchblade. He's a Swiss Army knife. He's like the perfect combination of power, agility, speed, you know, high fly arrow attacks and stuff like that. So I would draft him. Uh, next, we have uh, Brian, Brian Cage. Um, he was seen in a recent video with uh, Drew McIntyre working out. But to be honest, I, you know, uh, I don't really see him fitting anywhere in SmackDown or Raw's, um, you know, right now in their plan, I guess you can say, or their storylines. You know, obviously, if he came, he would make a killing because he's obviously he's a talented dude. But this guy sh could make a killing in AEW. So I'd be like, look, like, dude. You would go from like challenging for the Anaconda Championship to challenging for, you know, the AEW World Heavyweights. But anyways, moving on, we have Darby Allen. I love Darby Allen. Like this guy's like, this guy kind of reminds me of, a, obviously he got his name from a Gigi Allen. I don't know if a lot of you guys know who Gigi Allen is. He was pretty, pretty crazy. But uh, you see his matches and this guy puts everything on the line. This guy's like the, 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 the new and improved Mick Foley. So to be honest, I would draft him. I would absolutely draft him. Um, there, we don't have the hardcore division anymore, but I think you can squeeze Darby Allen into any, like really a storyline. Next we have Eddie Kingston, Eddie Kingston. Recently, he's lost his continental championship to Okada. He's lost the ring of honor, uh, heavyweight championship to, uh, to Mark Briscoe. And, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I, I'd say pass. I, I give a huge pass. I'm not trying to diss on Eddie. You know, because, you know, I believe he's an innovator and you know, he's a scholar. But um, I don't know. I, I I don't think he has. I don't think WWE really, you know, could afford to get this guy. All right. Uh, next you have, uh, oh, man, what's this guy's? Al no, not Alex. But uh, and anyways, like this guy, he's part of the Bullet Club. And I recently saw, I can't believe I'm spacing on his name. Why am I spacing on his name? Uh, but Ah, but uh, recently he attacked Darby Allin, and um, I don't know. I don't really see him fitting in WWE because I think he, he, what he's doing with the Bullet Club right now, and you kind of need him in those trios matchups, you know. Next, next we have Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe, he's newly the World Ring of Honor champion. He won it at Supercard. You know, I like him. I like him a lot, so I would say draft him. But, but that's just me and my bias. Would the WWE draft Briscoe? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you need a crazy, like, lunatic fringe to replace Dean Ambrose. No, honestly, like, that would be pretty cool if he's, like, he would be kind of like the next lunatic fringe, like, uh, you know, kind of piece of the puzzle. Swerve Strickland. Swerve Strickland. 
I like watching Swerve. I think he's a talented guy, very dominant. I like his promos. He was a, you know, I think he was a rapper at one point. He was pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to say pass. As much as I would like to say yes, I'm going to say pass on Swerve. I'm going to swerve away from the Swerve. But no, um, I, you know, not that they're not taking away from his talent. And I don't know if he would fit in W. He might be like a judge. Imagine if he joins the Judgment Day. <gasps> I'm just kidding. No, he wouldn't fit in the Judgment Day. Next, we have MJF. MJF, I think, would be an amazing piece to Cody Rhodes' next story. So I'm going to say draft. I think Cody Rhodes is going to get drafted to Monday Night Raw. And I, I hope that'd be awesome if NJF didn't sign a contract with AEW and ultimately finds himself fighting beside Cody Rhodes. Kind of lead it into like a, you know, kind of like a feud, not, you know, kind of going into SummerSlam would be pretty awesome. But, um, you know, all in all, I think I did a podcast about this like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and I don't think they're going to really uh, sign NJF. Next, we have Anna Jay. I like Anna Jay. I think she's a talented wrestler. Um, not really NXT material, but I can see her getting drafted to like a Monday Night Raw. Like, well, hell, Monday Night Raw has Maxine Dupree, Indy Hartwell, and Candice LeRae. So, you know, Annie, Anna Jay is like levels above those those wrestlers. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be, to be mean. I'm just trying to kind of base it off what I've kind of seen like via film kind of thing like that. So, you know, don't be too mad at me. Um, Sheeta right now, uh, she had her, you know, feud with Athena and, but she's really good. She's really good. Uh, maybe she can like, kind of like be piece to damage control and I'm not trying to be stereotypical or, you know, anything like that. But, um, she was a wrestler that a lot of these girls like EO Sky and Kyrie Singh kind of looked up to kind of like, uh, like the newly, uh, hall of famer. Um, oh man. Bull Nakano, like kind of like one of those things. So that'd be, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Next we have Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Martinez, I picked to win to the the um <coughs> to win the television, the women's television championship at uh, Ring of Honor. Ultimately, that did not work. But she's a hell of a talent. She's a hell of a talent. She would do really well on SmackDown. I could see, oh my God, I would love to see her fight like Rhea Ripley or Bailey. I think that WWE should draft that girl. Next, we have Willow of Nightingale. Willow of Nightingale, like she's kind of like that. She's kind of like that that lovable, that huggable kind of, uh, you know, that personality. She, I like, I like to compare her to Bailey. I kind of see her like kind of like being the Bailey the, of the uh, of the AEW right now. She's kind of ha- she has a really good feud with Mercedes Monet. Well, not feud, but it's kind of like a unspoken like she kind of injured Mercedes Monet, and that was the reason why she kind of was on the shelf for a little while. But you know. Honestly, I would pass just because I kind of want to see how that all works out. Uh, next, we have Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, he's obviously been in WWE before. I would love to see him back. But ultimately, he said the reason why he kind of left was that WWE um, you know, ownership was a little wonky and the way they were and negotiating his contract. But obviously, it's not like that anymore with the Paul Levesque era. So who knows like if, if Samoa Joe will ever come back. But Samoa Joe kind of has this personality of like, you can't really tell me what to do. And that's his person on screen. And that's the reason why people love him. That's the reason why I love him. So, um, so yeah, uh, those were the uh, AEW, Ring of Honor, New Japan wrestlers, uh, Impact wrestlers that I would sign to WWE or kindly, kindly pass. And like I said, not trying to be mean or anything like that. I'm not trying to say AEW is going under because I really hope it doesn't. But, you know, you got to prepare for the worst, man. That's my disaster kit. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Um, you know, with all that. Well, guys, I hope you like my show. Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so please remember to Superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show and leave a positive review here at the GSMC Sports Network. We love peace, love, and positivity, baby. It really does make a difference, guys. I would love to hear you guys talk more than I feel like I'm rambling, rambling on. I feel like I haven't stopped talking in like an hour or something like no anyways uh so we invite you to follow us on facebook twitter a slash x on uh, i mean uh, tiktok instagram for more content and updates um remember if you um you know kind of exploring a little bit of podcasts we have more podcasts we have about baseball football basketball you know just sports in general we have the andrew tate show and the gsmc network also has podcasts just about anything that, you know under the sun we are an entertainment conglomerate that are um you know 
that loves our viewers. So, you know, just remember if you're not into sports and if I didn't make you a wrestling fan by now, you know, you have other options, but stay with me, stay with me. I'm just kidding. No, well, I'm not just kidding. No, that I don't want you to stay with me. 